Once the first course of forms has been placed, steel reinforcement can be added. Steel reinforcement is to be installed as per the plans and specifications prepared by a qualified designer and must conform to local standards, regulations, or codes. Horizontal reinforcing steel should always be installed into the notch locations provided in the web. And with the four-way reversible system of Nudura, reinforcing steel is always easily secured. Unless specified otherwise by the designer, horizontal reinforcement is always installed after each course of form units are placed. Nudura recommends alternating the position of the horizontal reinforcing steel from one successive course to another. This practice creates a cage that maintains the alignment of the vertical reinforcing steel, which we will discuss later. Depending on local building codes, you can splice rebar using either a non-contact lap splice, where the bars can be separated up to one-fifth the lap length to a maximum of six inches, 152 millimeters, or a contact lap splice, where the bars are wired together. In both cases, a typical overlap is 40 times the rebar diameter. With number 4 or 10M diameter rebar, this works out to 20 inches, or 508 millimeters, just slightly less than the distance spanned by three webs. For formulas on calculating lap splice, refer to the Nudura installation manual. Nudura recommends that you cut 5 foot, or 1.5 meter lengths of rebar, and bend them 90 degrees, and have them placed at the corners. This will save time during the installation process. When you get within one rebar length of the corner, install one of the pre-cut 90 degree sections of rebar. Cut the previous straight section to achieve the necessary overlap and fit it into place. To ensure the installation of rebar is completed with efficiency, installers generally mark the dimensions of the straight rebar on the wall. This allows easy reference for the installer cutting the rebar and lets them place the necessary number of pieces for future courses.